it is incredible how the media, the academia, the politics, science, the WhatsApp gurus, WhatsApp scientists, social media scientists, social media uh, fascinators or fantasizers make up articles to be published as news articles. Today on BBC, or I don't know, it says the infection may be stabilizing. It's the second day after lockdown. And people are getting excited. They could eat out, they could play out. They don't know they're in the darkness. They don't know they're in the darkness of the reality. It is this nonsensical elements of how we are influenced by the entire media and academia apparatus that are playing out in the human head is what causes the problem and what makes the virus dance around the planet. So much so that everyone is expecting that everything is going to be all right. This dogmatic, old, twisted ideas about the heaven is somewhere else and where you are born and experience as life is a horrible place to live has been the education, has been the most dogmatic, most twisted and tangled and entangled idea that humans are here on the planet Earth to pay a price for their mistakes they have made and that somewhere else is much better place. The play people who actually propagate and put out stories like this are actually making money and got a job. The rest are being locked down and confused in disillusion, distress, stress, anxiety, whatever you wish to call it. But the reality is that the headlines of your news, the headlines on the social media, including this video alone, must not become the way how you should conduct your life. You must become a responsible and an accountable and an honest, sincere human being that you work and you become a responsible and an accountable citizen of this earth and you work towards a conscious and a responsible and a meaningful way so that we can all get back to how we were and we all can experience the profoundness of our lives without the stupidity and the silliness of our politics, science, even the science that become entangled in politics and religion and the purpose of science that enhance the human experience and increase the human comfort and well-being has also become a twisted and most... I have no words to describe. The science that is meant to improve the well-being and the comforts and convenience of human and the humanity today with gadgets and gadgetry and technology has also become a fault. Where are we as human beings today? We have lost the sense of consciousness, sense of sens sensitivity to life. We have lost the very consciousness of who we are on this planet and going on about 
politicizing, philosophizing, and confusing the hell out of humanity on earth. Please wake up when there's light. The light at the end of the tunnel can only be seen if you walk the distance of experience of life by sitting in one place and getting confused by the information you receive on your smart gadget and crippling the eye, the sophisticated human mechanism and the psychological drama that you run up is going to simply make you feel an absolute absurd case. Instead, learn to be conscious, gentle, genuine, sincere, responsible, and more importantly, awaken human being so that you can conduct yourself in a more sensible, responsible, and a conscious way.